Hello community! It is a beautiful time to start to learn to code multi-AI agents and today I'll show you the easiest solution you can find here with the help of Anthropic, Pydantic AI and Together AI you can build your multi-AI configuration just within seconds. So let's have a look. It all started here December 19, yeah more than three weeks ago by Anthropic and Anthropic was great because they gave us here what well, they learned how to build AI agent themselves for their clients and they are share their knowledge. And their knowledge they have also encoded here in, if you go GitHub, Anthropic, Anthropic cookbooks. And there you have your Python notebooks where they show you here exactly how to build multi LLM workflows for prompt training, for parallelization, for routing. Everything is available for you here free of charge, a free code. Anthropic showed us here multiple workflow specialization here, like parallelization, if you have here your user query and it is possible to chunk this query up and execute this in parallel on multiple LLMs. And then we have an aggregator LLM, so easy multi-agent configuration. And of course they have a beautiful summary and they give us some advice, maintain simplicity in your agent design, Prioritize here a transparency by explicitly showing here all the multi-agent planning step and their dependencies and then carefully craft your agent computer interface and the tool used with documentation and testing. But really this entropic cookbook, so where you have the condensed knowledge and the expertise, this is a great place to start. But you know what? It is even easier today because there is here this company and they really built here some beautiful interactive demonstration I want to show you today. So just to introduce you, if you don't know here, an AI acceleration cloud computer service company, Together AI. And they provided here, based on Anthropic, some beautiful free resources for us, the open source community, to learn. Of course, GitHub, Together, the cookbook, they provide here a cookbook. And if you look here for the agent, they just updated here something two days ago, so we have some brand new with an MIT license, so you can use this immediately. And if we go here into one of these and we stick here with the parallel multi-agent workflow example, they give you here either a Colab or a Python notebook, wherever you want to use this here. They have beautiful introduction, they explain what they're doing, and then in the code section, you see exactly the setup, the utilities. And you know what? What I really like, they go with Pydantic. Pydantic, our multi-agent framework system. If you're not really, uh, that you say, hey, I know Pydantic, I have a video for you. Pydantic AI, how to go to new safe AI agents. This is one of the latest um, developments that I really like. And here you have a video, 50 minutes explaining everything. On the right side, you see here the code examples that we go through in this video. And then we have here a perfect explanation. What is everything? What is every step here explained? Why do we need this? Why we have here more safety than with any other configuration? Great. And you know what? Just 45 minutes ago, I discovered that Pedantic AI has something brand new. It's not only that we have the Pedantic AI agents and a multi-agent workflow that we can define, but now we have a graph-based control flow with a new Python library called Pythantic Graph. So an asynchronous graph and state machine library for Python where the node and edges are defined using the type hints. Really nice, but careful. Careful, this is early beta. This is, this is not something if you start with, you should focus on. This is, if you're a little bit more advanced, we have some beautiful new opportunities here. Pythantic Graph library is now available for you. If you go there and have here the address here with graphs, you see everything and they give you here even a custom control flow, which is great if you work with multi-AI agent configuration systems where you have then waiting for a human input or whatever and they have the complete Python code for you available. Great. So now, now let's do this. So either you just want to build a network of agents, one, two, whatever, or you build a society of AI agents you have multi-AI agent configuration that you have to deal with and those configurations are specific to specific use cases and their code implementation is really specific. So 
Is there any way that you can get some help? Of course. There's some beautiful new homepage, www.agenticrecipes.com, and they give you here a multitude of possible configurations of multi-AI systems. Parallelization. We have one LLM, two LLMs, three LLMs, and we have an aggregator LLM. So how to build here this specific use case and they tell you when you should use this? Or get with routing, where you have here an LLM called router, and this is another configuration. Or the classical way to go, you have an orchestrator, you have the boss agent, yeah? and then you have, in the old times, you call it the worker agents, no, one, two, three, four. And then we have a synthesizer brings everything together and you get a result. And they explain here, you have prompt chaining here. Now for agents, not as easy as you might guess. Or you go here with evaluator optimization agent system. It is all there for you. And yeah, the special feature is not only that there is a code, but it is interactive and you can try it out immediately. So here we go. So we have here, well, let's say this configuration with the parallelization where we have our three worker and then we have an aggregator LLM. They give you here the summary, when to do it. They give you here the use cases, one, two, three, four, five use cases. So you know exactly when this methodology is right for the job. If you have a particular job, go through the use cases and whenever you feel, hey, this is what I need, you have here the configuration and you know what? You have the complete code. The code example here even with all the helpers that you need for the parallelization. And you know what? And now you know why I introduce it to Together AI. They are so nice and they provide here their cloud compute infrastructure for free for this demonstration to learn if you're interested how to do this and how to use the code of this. Parallelization is one configuration, prompt chaining the other one. You have again the summary, the use cases, the complete code example, all the dependencies, everything will be installed for you automatically. You just click run and you see exactly what is happening here. If multiple AI agents communicate, you see here the complete result. You can go with routing, you have the same type. You go with this orchestrator workers where we have here our boss LLM, then the worker LLM, our synthesizer LLM, how it all works together. What is the orchestrator prompt? So this goes back, I think, here to the experience and the knowledge provided here by Anthropic AI at the very beginning of this video. So you see, it all brings together, and this is now an interactive learning platform for you. And I think it couldn't be easier. If you start now to learn about AI agents, my goodness, yes, now is the time because you have everything together. And I just discovered this yesterday, and I thought, I have to show you this as a learning resource. So let's say we go here with the orchestrator worker configuration. Of course, if you click and you want to see the complete notebook and everything here, as I've showed you to get a cookbook agents here, parallel subtask agent workflows, Python notebook, everything is available for you. The code is available for you. This is great. And you know what is really nice? This interactive learning that you really can execute the code. You don't have to go on a local machine or on a cloud machine. It is all there for you to learn, to immediately understand. So let's do an example. I know some of you will say, hey, show us how this works. This was just theory. So here is now the real life example for let's do a parallelization configuration of multi AI agents. And this is now the real demonstration example. Jenna and her mother picked some apples from the apple farm. Jenna picked half as many apples as her mother. If her mother got 20 apples, how many apples did they both pick? And you say, my goodness, I need minimum five AI agents for this. Yes, it is a demonstration. Please do not comment. Hey, I can solve this with three agents. This is a demonstration. Reference model, what do we have? They go here with Microsoft, QN, Google, and other companies. Great, so you see immediately here for our LLM1, LLM2, LLM3, LLM4, these are the reference models. And you know what we need? Yes, of course, we need here an aggregator model. And they decided to go here with DeepSeek, the version 3 here, to bring the complete knowledge together and then have a final answer generated for us. And they give us even the prompt here of the aggregator LLM, of the agent. So you have the system prompt if you want. Hey, you have been provided with a set of responses from various open source models to the latest user query. Your task is now, you tell the aggregator LLM is the, if you want here the command, 
Your task is now to synthesize those responses into a single high-quality response. It is crucial to critically evaluate the information provided in these responses, recognizing that some of it may be biased or even incorrect. So your response should not simply replicate a given answers by one to four, but you should offer a refined, accurate, and comprehensive reply to the instruction. Ensure your response is well-structured, coherent, and adheres to the highest standard of accuracy and reliability. And you say, so easy, it's all done for us already. Let's have a demo. So let's start here with the live demo we have here with the parallelization configuration of our multi ai agents. You know this, we have here the complete summary to tell you when to do this. Takes advantage of a task, it can be broken into discrete, independent tasks. The user prompt is passed to multiple LLMs simultaneously. Once all the LLMs responded, their answers are sent to a final LLM call to be aggregated for the final answer. This is our aggregator LLM. They give you here specific use cases, real nice. And then let's have a look here at the code examples. So let's come here to the pure code example. You see we have our helpers here in Python, but the parallelization is, of course, interesting. So what we have, we have here our four reference model instructor. They are already pre-installed for you if you want on Together AI on the platform. Plus, of course, we have here our aggregator LLM. This is DeepSeek. There you see the prompt and then you have the main and everything that we use. Beautiful. And you know what you have to do? You just have to press run and you see here the results executing your code. And here we have it. Now this is the response from our five LLMs. So we have here intermediate response LLM1. And we have here intermediate response 2. Intermediate response 3. Intermediate response 4. And then here, yeah, now starts here the final answer. And you see here... To solve these real complex problems, you see here the interplay, how this is generated. And then we have here the final answer, Jenna and her mother picked the total of 30 apples. Plus, here, you just scroll down here, beautiful. So again, Together AI, thank you for providing here this free demonstration for the prompt chaining, for the routing, for the orchestrator, if you have your boss LLM here. You have here Evaluator Optimizer. And what I'm also interested in coming soon is here Autonomous Agents. Oh yeah, this is going to be interesting, especially if we combine this then with Pythonic Graph. So this is it for the live demo example. So coming back now, I would like just to mention one thing. What I personally find now amazing in 2025 those companies understood if they want to sell their services. And let's be clear, they are for-profit company, I suppose. So they want to sell you something. But they are also providing you services for free. What they do, they give you here the complete code. They tell you, hey, there are a lot of possible multi-agent configuration. And for each of these configuration, we give you the code to experiment. Of course, they are hoping that they you go to their platform, not sponsored, by the way. And yes, but you know what? I kind of like those companies who are really providing services, also free of charge to the community, because guess what? You can use their code and maybe you find another platform or your local GPU infrastructure and you have an idea how to transfer this code here to other machines. It is not that difficult, but real nice. Those companies understand they provide the code for free. Then they want to sell you, of course, their hardware services that you just rent out eight, I don't know, H100 or the new NVIDIA GPUs on those cloud provider machines. Nice idea. But what does it mean? This means code in itself becomes less valuable. Because all those companies provide here, let's say, the best available code at a current time to its client, to its customers. So code in itself is now provided free of charge. They understand that code is here the entry to their platform. So they provide you with a code. And I have to tell you, looking at the code, this is not... Yeah, it is not a perfect production code where you have all the safety guide rails and everything installed. But if you want to start and understand this, and if you are small and medium enterprise, or you are a startup, and you just need this as a function, 
and this is not your central focus of your company. I think unbelievable easy now to enter here to use multi AI agents here on a platform. Code has almost no value at all, man. If you think about it in a commercial model, what they are selling is the infrastructure and the code you get for free. So there you have it. Today here, mid of January 2025, if you want to code multi-AI agents, it couldn't be easier. You are given so much free configuration systems, templates. You have here with Pydantic AI a real safe, if you want, framework to operate your agents with. And we have here a company that understands yet you have to provide here some services if you want to attract your clients to your hardware services. So very interesting combination. And of course, thank you to Entropic to providing their knowledge, their insight, their expertise with their client that they accumulated over the month and years. So that even for us as an open source community, maybe only interested in rather small language models, maybe we go with a local machine implementation, but there's nothing holding us back to build now multi-AI agent system, particular for the job that your company or that you need as a developer. So if you found it interesting, is it, hey, I learned something new today, why not subscribe to the channel and you are not going to believe what will be the content of our next video.